Hey guys, welcome back to another League of Legends video. Today I want to show you my five step strategy to turning any champion in this game of Le 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 Legends into a jungler. So if your friend dared you to play Soraka jungle or you know, you're just crazy and you want to play Soraka jungle, well, you'd be pretty screwed unless you follow these five steps. Why would you be pretty screwed? <laughs> because if you're playing someone like Soraka jungle or whoever it is, the biggest thing that you will struggle with is clearing the jungle. If you can't clear the jungle, you're always going to be a step behind the enemy jungler, and that's no good. You'll never have enough farm, you'll never have enough levels, you just can't get going, really. So, you need to address those issues, and that's what this video should help you to do. So, the first step here directly addresses that with your choice in runes in the Unsealed Spellbook. Unsealed Spellbook allows you to swap out your summoner spells. We're not going to be going for any of that. We're just going to be using it for the reduced cooldown on your smite. If you suck at clearing the jungle, which these weird jungle picks will, and then having a lower cooldown smite is exceedingly important, because not only does it mean you clear faster, but you also get that heal from it as well. So pick Unsealed Spellbook. Some champions can skip this step. For example, I did a Varus jungle gameplay, which, you know, definitely that's that's not a jungler. Uh, but I actually didn't need the Unsealed Spellbook because Hunter's Machete gave me enough sustain by itself. But, for example, when I was playing Brand or Zyra, uh, Morgana, specifically the caster champions who you want to stick in the jungle, Unsealed Spellbook is a really solid choice. Step two. Ban Kha'Zix, and if you can, ban people like Nidalee as well. You don't want to be playing against these high damage, invading, strong 1v1 junglers, because if they do decide to invade you, you're going to have to have no choice but to just concede your jungle. If they present to you their penis, you're just going to have to take it. You have to rely on your teams to bail you out in those situations. You don't really want to be in that situation. You'd much rather go up against someone like Sedwani than Kha'Zix because he will kick your ass. They will be the biggest thing stopping you from having a successful game in the jungle, getting invaded and getting pooped upon. And trust me, it will happen. So ban people like Kha'Zix or whoever these like assassin 1v1 invade champions might be in the meta right now. It's Kha'Zix, but that might change in the future. Step three get a very very good leash if you don't get a good leash you're going to be pretty screwed your clears especially early are terrible so you want to get started off on the right foot ask your bot lane or wherever you start usually it's bot lane to give you a good leash and also if you can be a little bit cheeky and walk behind your allied support so that he tanks a few hits for you as well but don't tell him you're doing it because he might get a bit angry at you just pretend like it's a mistake you don't know what you're doing you're clueless to rack a jungle if you get a good leash, that will set you up for success. If you don't get a good leash, well, yeah, you, you, you're going to struggle just a little bit. Step numero four. Press the enter key, press the slash, and type M-U-T-E space A-L-L. -L. Slash mute all is your best friend when you're playing an off-meta jungler because people already rage enough at the jungle. If you're not performing stellarly, and even if you are, People will probably find ways to blame you for when they're losing lanes. And if you're picking an off-meta jungler, if you're picking a strange jungle pick, you probably will suck in that early game. And people will start flaming you when, you know, they get ganked or, you know, when they start losing their lane. They're always looking for the jungler to bail them out and they'll just start raging at you for your pick. And it's not really worth the hassle. So just mute everyone right off the bat so you don't have to listen to that stuff so that it doesn't tilt you. And the last tip here, hold lanes for farm. Really important that you do this. This is a good thing to do in any jungler, really, but especially if you're playing an off-meta jungler. If you hold lanes for farm, you don't have to rely as much on actually clearing the jungle by yourself to get gold and to get experience. You can just nick it from your laners. Now, I'm not saying, you know, literally walk up to their lane and just steal it from them up from right under their nose. I'm saying find those opportunities where the your your Allied laner has recalled or they died or they roamed, go into that lane, take a few minions, you'll get the gold, you'll get the experience. Really important that you do that because you're going to be looking for ways to get gold and experience outside the jungle because that's going to be your biggest barrier like we've already mentioned. So that's really only the five steps that you need to take into consideration, the five most important things, but there are a few minor things that we'll mention here. Play style things I will say, it doesn't apply to every single game. Extra point number one, Hunter's Potion. Don't be afraid to buy that. A lot of champions, often meta champions, struggle clearing the jungle. I don't know whether you've really 
pick that up from this video or not. But yeah, Hunter's Potion will help you clear the jungle. So pick it up. Don't be afraid to do that. It's not too expensive. Also, do not be afraid to suck in the early game. You definitely will not have the same showing as a Mesa Jungler would do in that early game. So if you're not ganking as much as they are, if you're not having the same amount of pressure going down in that early, don't feel bad about it. That's not your strength. Play towards your strength. If in doubt, don't do anything in the early game. Uh, obviously look for ganks where you can, but don't feel bad if you can't do things early. And lastly, if you are looking to do stuff in the lane phase, counter ganking usually works better than straight up ganking because you can bait the enemy teams into situations that work in your favor. You don't have to be the one starting the, the gank, initiating the gank. A lot of times off-meta junglers suck at having the tools to initiate a gank like Soraka. What's Soraka going to do? It's much better if you have them come into you and you can counter the enemy's plays. But that pretty much does it for this video, guys. I hope you found it useful. Let me know what you thought about it down below in the comments. I have a fair amount of videos, actually, on off-meta junglers. Some of them, uh, the, the casters with the unsealed spellbook, like I mentioned, I do have more, uh, a brand, Zyra video. Some of them off-meta, but don't actually need the unsealed spellbook. Varus, uh, Camille, Jace. So, yeah. Go check those videos out if you want to see those those gameplays. But thanks so much for watching today, guys. I hope you liked it. Thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to me for the Legends content. Most importantly, have a fantastic day. I'll see you in my next.